everyone. So I received my Arteza paints. Um, I'm going to do a review on them for you today. Um, I ordered the 24 pack um, of colors and they come so nicely boxed. I've already mixed up a few but we're going to mix a few so you can see how they work. They come in these cute little trays which you know you probably will never use again once you take them out but I wanted to show you how it came boxed it's very professional uh, okay so I'm gonna go ahead and move that box out but these are the colors that are on there and that looks backwards so that's not going to help you <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I mixed up the Mars Black, the Mid Yellow, the Pale Green Lemon Yellow, um, Prussian Green, which I've never seen before on any other paint, um, Cerulean Blue, Crimson, orange and Prussian blue so I thought we'd mix up a couple so I can show you the um, consistency of the paint let's see what color do we want so let's try uh, phthalo blue and how about emerald green? So we can use it with that. We're going to do a pour on the next video. This is going to be a flip and drag, so I can see how they work with a flip and drag. Um, then how about some yellow ochre? So I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. I was very impressed with um, the shipping. They were in bubbled. They were very well shipped. Sometimes when you order paint, they just throw it in a box, but these were done very well. And they came from Amazon, so Amazon does a pretty good job with shipping. So I'm going to go ahead and use a half a tube. They're not very big. Um, I didn't want to have them send me the big stuff because I, uh, I use so many different kinds of paint that I didn't want them to go to waste. And I don't like to waste stuff. Oh, the emerald green is weird. It's kind of milky looking. Hmm. That's different. It's kind of minty. Let's see what the yellow ochre looks like. Yeah, just like every ye yellow ochre. <laughs> Nothing new there. Okay, so I'm going to do my mix which is PVA and Floetrol. Uh, very rarely do I use water, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some PVA. I've been um, not adding water to my PVA. I know in my paint mixing videos, um, I do the two thirds glue and the one third water, but I was using some house paints and I found that mixing house paints with just the straight PVA work better. I don't want to add water to my paint. It just seems to me that it breaks down the binder. You lose your um, consistency quicker. So once you add the PVA, they mix up great. What I did find though, and I'll show you when I get these blended here. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Ours has been hot. <laughs> we have a big storm coming. It seems to be all to the west of us, so. But we want the rain because the pollen is so bad here. Our cars are covered. My front porch is covered. Everything's covered with pollen. Looks like yellow snow. I kind of like that minty emerald green like that. 
kind of cool. Okay, so this is what you'll have as far as thickness. The paint itself is very creamy. Um, it's not heavy body. I know like some of the paints I use, they're really super thick and you have to add a lot of flow draw to thin it down. But these seem to do pretty well. Now I just put a tablespoon of flow troll in there. And I want to show you how this paint um, breaks down with the flow troll. It's very quick. You have to be really careful. But I'm already starting to get a stream off there. So if I go ahead and put another tablespoon in. We're really close right there. I was a little weary of that when I started mixing them because I thought that I would get a full cup and I didn't. If I would have used the whole tube, I probably would have gotten a full cup. Now this is just the green, so let's see what happens when we mix the blue. Okay, and I'm there. I'll set that one aside. The goopier they are when you first mix them with the PVA, you kind of already know how much flow trial you're going to be using. I'm sitting here deciding what colors to use in a flip and drag. Oh, I can go three on that one too. That's great. thunder. <laughs> it's my husband doing something in the kitchen. He's cleaning up after dinner tonight for me. He's such a good guy. Okay. This phthalo blue is pretty. I noticed the Prussian blue um, had that purple tinge to it like the Soho one does. Not I love the Lucas Prussian Blue. It's deep blue, and so is the Grumbacher. It's funny how they're all different. I'm watching my time here so that we don't make this too long. Okay. So down below in the description box, you'll see a link that will take you to Arteza. And um, since I'm an affiliate, um, if you purchase anything, I'll get a small stipend for that. Okay, so I'm going to set these paints aside. Um, let's mix that Prussian green in there and we'll use this on a pour. I don't have to move these too far because we're going to use them next. So I have a bunch of little 4x12 cam canvases that I want to use up, so that's what we'll use them for. Those are kind of an interesting blend of colors. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop at that. I think that's good. I'll throw one more in there, but I don't think we need to. I'll put those here. I gotta get some white down. I was gonna do this before, but I didn't know how long it was gonna take to uh, mix that up. Oops, I was watching that lid to make sure it wouldn't fall and 
my paint went over the edge. That's okay. Time for a fresh one anyway. Got way too much paint on there. I have to dump some off. This paint's been sitting for about a week, so it's due to be replaced. kicking up now. It's coming. We have tornado warnings and I'm sitting out here in the garage. <laughs> Not too smart, is it? I don't mind. My goodness. You think I never painted before. Okay. So I need a cup. My WD-40 just to spray in my cup. Yeah, I was kind of impressed on the colors. Um, there's a lot of greens, a lot of blues, a lot of browns and yellows. Uh, the white, I was not too impressed with the white. I don't even have it out here. I used it um, in a pour. I did a pour, and I will show you that when we're done. Actually, let me grab it because I really should show it to you first. Hang on one second. This is a pour that I did with it and I already varnished it. Oh, I can find my seat here. Okay. Um, was a purple, a white, and I believe a pink. I should have wrote it down on the back. But it formed beautifully. Um, it dried really fast. And of course I used um, triple thick on it so it would dry faster so I could show you. So it's like really shiny. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I just have to take the tape off and everything. So that's a nice pour with uh, new paints that I've never used before. So let's see how we do with a flipping cup. Flipping drag. <laughs> flipping cup. Yeah. I'm not going to use a ton of paint because this canvas isn't really big. Now I get to try the Prussian green. It's an interesting color. I was gonna save the, um, I'm gonna put a little more blue in there because I think that green's gonna take over. I was going to save the sticks when I stirred these um, plastic cup ones, just to see how dark the paint dried, but it seems to hold its color pretty well. At least they noticed that on that pour. Okay, I'm just gonna flip it. I think we're gonna have issues with the green. <laughs> okay, let me drag her around. what happens when you don't paint every day. <laughs> a 
Oh, believe me, I'd paint every day if I could. But I turn around and I look at the hundred paintings I have behind me that I'm still photographing. It's not fun. <laughs> we uh, spent a lot of time hanging up this black cloth. So we'll see how these Arteza paints photo since I have that one done. Got a nice smooth glide to it, that's for sure. Better than uh, some of my other paints. I love when that happens there. I think it's pretty. Okay. have to use all one brand of paint when you're doing these either. You can mix other paints with these. I rarely use all the same brand. Unless I'm doing a review. I'm going to have to grab a little bit of this because that's a little shallow there. There we go. And I'll airbrush that in. So yeah, we're going to try these with airbrushing too, so. But I guess all their shipments come from Amazon, so. Um, you know, if you get stuff from Amazon, you know how well it's packaged. And it's quick service. All right. So that's where I'm going to leave it, and we're going to airbrush. I think I might just leave that. That's kind of cool looking. So I'm going to start over here. I see a little bit of color under there. Let's see if we can get some of that to come out and play. Not much. I've seen quite a few people doing reviews for Arteza and I watched a lot of the watercolor pens. If you guys are doing watercolor, the markers, they were really nice. And I'm sure you've seen the ad with the, uh, I want to say it's a chameleon, but it's probably just a lizard. <laughs> watching YouTube videos. I'm sure you've seen the ad for Arteza. I need to grab that because that's trying to go over the edge. There. It's going to go over a little bit. That's okay. Whoops. I'll turn you around. Let's see if I can get this done in a minute or two here. I'll save the pour for the next video. That way I'm not going to tie you guys up too long. I don't like to sit and watch videos longer than 20 minutes, so I find myself fast forwarding a lot. Now I haven't torched this yet, so I'm curious to see if we'll get any new cells. There's some pretty cells in here. And I don't know how well this would play with resin, to mix it in with resin, so I'm not a resinist. <laughs> Maybe we can get uh, Jeff and Erica to try it on ours till death. Pretty, pretty. Okay, let me torch it. Just getting rid of the air bubbles first. 
Okay, now let's see if we get anything new. Yep, here they come. See them? Kinda like that Prussian green. I don't have a paint color. Paint that that's color. It's pretty. I like, I like, I like. So guys, uh, click on the link below and you can check out their website. Take a look at their prices. Their prices are great. Um, I'm not sure if they're offering a discount. If you click on my link, um, I believe she said 10%. So we'll see if that works when you click on. But they're running a big sale right now. So I don't see why uh, you wouldn't get some type of discount. But yep, yeah, there it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the paint. It moved great. So, yep, if you want to give it a try, click below on the link and uh, get order yourself one of those little 24s. They also have pouches if you want to just buy individual colors. So, I uh, like the array of colors that was in this 24 pack. So, if you are ready to buy, this is the one you want to look for. Arteza 24 acrylic color premium paints and thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one we'll do a pour bye now